Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome to a non-rev day. So non-rev is short for non-revenue, which is the term that we use when we're talking about our airline flight benefits. So we'll be using those for a very long journey to Kenya today. So I get the flight benefits as an employee. Anyone who's not married is able to take one other person along with them. And when you're married, you use the flight benefits for your spouse as well, which is really cool. Non-rev travel is all standby. We'll get on flights depending on if there are seats open on the flight. Now, when I'm flying on my my airline, domestic is always free and international is free, except we have to pay any country entry or exit taxes if there are any. For today's first leg, we're flying from LAX to JFK, which will be completely free for both of us. And I'm able to look at the flight loads to see how many seats are available. And it looks like we'll get on this flight. Fingers crossed, you never know what's gonna happen. We always have to be really, really flexible and have backup plan on backup plan on backup plan. I think the first leg's gonna go pretty well, but we'll see. Luckily, this guy's pretty laid back, so doesn't stress us out too much. We're at our gate getting ready to board, and we're allowed to list for a premium class, so first or business class, and again, it just depends on what's available. This is a long flight, so it'd be nice to get first class, especially since it has live flat seats. We have different levels of priority, too. My passes are called D1 and D2. Kevin and I have an unlimited amount of D2 passes, and we get a certain amount of D1 passes each year, and that means that our priority will be higher than anyone who is a D2 and below that. We also get some buddy passes, the passes for our parents which are much lower down so it's usually harder to get seats for those people once we get to JFK we'll be listed as D2T which is a through pass meaning we'll go above the regular D2s but still under the D1s it's pretty complicated but I've been doing it for a long time so it's not hard for me <laughs> here we go all right so we got real lucky on this one we got first class which on this plane is really awesome because this is the Transcon plane and that means there are three classes and they have lay flat seats with excellent service on a six hour flight, so, so lucky. So what I did was use a D1, which means we were a higher priority than anyone else, unless there was a D1T, which is a D1 through. It's this whole complicated process run out of overhead space towards the rear of the aircraft. You may utilize open overhead space between row nice. six and ten. <laughs> Got a mimosa. So we made it to New York. JFK Airport. That was a very pleasant flight being in first class like that. And that leg for us to be in first class cost zero dollars, which is really awesome. Also, I was sitting across the aisle from Claire Danes and Homeland was one of my favorite shows. So I was trying really hard not to geek out and be like, I love you. Huh? So we have a really long time to sit here. Our next flight is New York to Doha, which my airline just started up in the middle of last year, I think. Actually, Qatar has some entry taxes, so that means that that'll be built into your airfare when you fly to that country, so that's something that we have to pay. We can't get around, even though it's on my airline. But the lucky thing is, it was like $4 a person. So to get all the way to Doha, it'll be about $8 for two people total, no matter if we sit in first class or economy or whatever. So that's why I've been doing this for nine years. <laughs> But we have a long time, so we're gonna go hang out in the Admiral's Club now. They have food here. What do you want? <laughs> Now it's time, finally, <laughs> to head over to our gate to see if we made it on this flight. This is gonna be a very long flight to Doha if we make it. And if we don't, we'll have to wait until this time tomorrow night. So we'll see, you never know what's gonna happen. All right, non-revving is working out in our favor today. For this 12 and a half hour flight, we got on and we got business class. Oh my gosh, another life flat seat. So we'll actually be able to at least get a few hours of sleep. I should have brought you along on a harder non-ref trip because this one's actually working out and sometimes they don't. Hi. Yeah. 
one's a little bit bigger than the last one. Still have the duvet and pillow. And this one's got a mattress pad so you can go to sleep. In business class on these flights, they bring out horses. So they start by laying down a linen, and they bring you a drink and some nuts, and a starter, and a salad, sometimes a soup, and then your main course, and then dessert. And then on this flight, since it's something like 12 hours long, we'll also get a mid-flight snack and then breakfast. And it'll be breakfast, but it'll actually be like 8 o'clock at night in Doha. But it'll be breakfast for us, so... Welcome to the business class bathroom. It's a, a little bit more spacious than a normal uh, airplane bathroom. I'm gonna change into some PJs and brush my teeth and then try to get some sleep. I think it's the middle of the day where we're trying to go right now, but I haven't slept in however many hours, so I need to sleep a little bit. But here's a tour of the bathroom. All right, hello, welcome to Doha, Qatar. And now it gets a little tricky. We're gonna do what's called a Z fare, which means we are flying on a partner airline. We do have to pay a little bit of a fare. It's still standby, so we'll only get on if there are seats available. This will be a five and a half hour flight to Nairobi. We're still outside of security. We talked to the staff travel guy. He got us all listed and everything. We have to go back to the desk at 12.45 to see if we got on, and if we didn't, the next flight to Nairobi isn't until 6.30 p.m. and it is 12.30 a.m. right now, so we will probably be getting a hotel. Uh, this is a little bit of the tricky part of non-revving, so sometimes it's really awesome and sometimes it's a little more difficult. I always have to have a plan B and a plan C and a plan D and, and with the partner airlines, we 95% of the time we won't get any upgrades or anything like that unless the crew wants to be really, really nice to us, which does occasionally happen. Pretty much we can fly a Z fare on almost any airline in the world, not quite all of them. There are a few we don't have partnerships with, but most of them we can pretty much get anywhere in the world if we want to. Security was a little intense. But we're through and we don't have much time. We pretty much have to go right to the gate. We're going to Kenya. Pretty stoked we made all three flights. I know, it's amazing. And we're staying in a Hilton when we get there. So hopefully they let us check in at eight o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> I don't want to sleep, you guys. <laughs> all right, we made it on. Yeah, non revving often yeah. means that Kevin and I don't sit together which is fine as long as we get on the flight. We made it to Nairobi. Weather's beautiful so far. So we went through immigration, went through customs, got our Kenyan SIM cards, and called an Uber to go to our hotel, which just got here. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into what the flight attendant travel benefits are like. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. And if you're interested in Kenya travel vlogs, we are making a bunch of videos in Nairobi and on safari on our other channel, The Awkward Tourist. So make sure you go and check those out. But for now, this is Kelly from The Awkward Flight Attendant. Peace out. Claire Danes was sitting across the aisle from me on that flight. We now walk up Group 4, Barcelona. Group You're going to have to do it quick. Thank you. Welcome You're going to have to do it quick. Claire Danes was sitting across the aisle from me. On get passports in hand, open to the picture page. Barcelona, Group 1 through 4. Barcelona, hurry up.